Hey guys, today we are going to discuss a brief history of Gilgit Baltistan. You know, Gilgit Baltistan has been an important strategic location for centuries. This region has been ruled by many foreign invaders and local rulers for centuries. Gilgit Baltistan has an area of 72,971 square kilometers. And according to the census 2017, the population of Gilgit Baltistan is about 2 million only. In terms of natural resources, this unknown part of the world is rich in hydroelectric minerals and it offers numerous tourist attractions. Polo is a popular game played in this region for centuries. World's highest polo ground. Shandur is situated in the Gezer Valley of Gilgit Baltistan. Every year, Polo Festival is celebrated and Polo teams from Chitral and Gilgit Baltistan play the tournament. Unlike the occupied Kashmir, Gilgit Baltistan went into Pakistan's position through two British military officers who were then convinced by Pakistan. In 1935, Gilgit Baltistan was leased by the British from the Maharaja Hari Singh due to its important strategic location on the northern border of British India. It was administered by the political department in Delhi through a British officer. The region's security was the responsibility of a military force called Gilgit Scores, which was officered by British. With impending independence for India and Pakistan, British terminated the lease and returned the region to Maharaja Hari Singh on 1st of August 1947. The Maharaja then appointed Brigadier Gansar Singh as governor for this region. The two military officers of Gilgit Scores, Major W. A. Brown and Captain S. A. Matheson, along with Subedar Major Babar Khan, were loaned to Maharaja at Gilgit. But as soon as Hari Singh acceded to India on 31st of October 1947, Major Brown imprisoned Gansar Singh and informed the political agent who was then appointed in Peshawar. The local people of Gilgit Baltistan supported riots against Hari Singh. And eventually, on November 1st, 1947, Hari Singh was defeated. And this is considered as Independence Day for Gilgit Baltistan. And it has been observed Independence Day every year since then. During that time, Kashmir was still ruled by Hari Singh. And Gilgit Baltistan established itself as a free and independent state for some time. But due to lack of political leadership in the region, Pakistan took control over the region. And then in 1948, Kashmir was separated into two parts as Indian occupied Kashmir and Pakistan occupied Kashmir. And this issue was then taken to the United Nations Security Council. And some Kashmiri political leaders conspired Gilgit Baltistan as a part of Kashmir and intentionally made it disputed and Pakistan never accepted Gilgit Baltistan as its constitutional territory. Pakistan bypassed United Nations Security Council resolutions and signed an agreement with the leaders of Azad Kashmir instead of leaders of Gilgit Baltistan and the signatories gave consent to take administrative control of Gilgit Baltistan. This infamous Agreement is known as Karachi Agreement, which was signed on 20th of April 1949 and it was made public in 1990. Since then, Gilgit Baltistan has been governed through orders and packages. Historically, after getting independence from Dogra Raj, Gilgit Baltistan is not a part of Kashmir. It was made disputed and made a part of disputed Kashmir in Karachi Agreement. 
without the knowledge of local people. Constitutionally, Gilgit Baltistan is not a part of Pakistan. It has no representation in Pakistan's National Assembly or Senate. And the people of Gilgit Baltistan have no right to vote. People of Gilgit Baltistan are forced to live in this contradictory reality which has not only made them confused but also given them a severe identity crisis. The mighty mountains and scenic beauty of Gilgit Baltistan is projected as beautiful Pakistan but when natives of the land ask for their fundamental rights the state authorities hush them by reminding them that Gilgit Baltistan is still a disputed region. In 1950, Pakistan's federal government established the Ministry of Kashmir Affairs in Northern Areas and transferred the local affairs to the ministry. In 1967, two local political agents were appointed, one from each Gilgit and Baltistan. In 1970, Northern Areas Advisory Council was formed, but it didn't give any decision-making power to the local authorities. In 1974, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto announced the creation of Gezer and Ganche districts and abolished the state of Hunza and the Black Law called FCR, or Frontier Crime Regulations, which comprised a special set of laws which were applicable to the federally administered areas and the northern areas of Pakistan. Until 2009, this region was known as the northern areas of Pakistan. It was then changed to the current name Gilgit Baltistan or GB. It was just change of a name but it didn't give any special decision-making powers to the local political structure. Please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.